All right, so the question today is how to improve AdWords click-through rate. So to talk about that, we'll start with the most fundamental basic level, what we can improve, and that is the keyword. Now the keyword uh, has option for four different match types, exact, modified, broad, phrase, and broad. With exact match, you're most likely to get the highest click-through rate, with modified, broad, and phrase, the next high, uh, lower click-through rate, and broad, you're going to get a lower click-through rate. The reason you get lower click-through rate with broad, because Google broadly matches you to different keywords, uh, search queries. In this case, what you want to do, you want to run the search query report and put negative keywords. So if our keyword is organic dog food, in broad match, you might uh, get matched, and you sell organic dog food, you might get matched to recipes for organic dog food. Right? So you would find that in the search query report, and you put negative keyword, recipe. Recipe, recipes, how to make, kind of, you know, brainstorm with some ideas and add all of those negative keywords, and that will help your click-through rate with the broad keywords, may help with phrase and modify broad. Exact match uh, doesn't really help because it exactly matches. That's another tutorial. Now, the second part is relevancy within an ad group. So you want your keywords within an ad group to be very relevant and close together, so when you write an ad for the ad group, it's relevant. So some examples are uh, buy organic dog food, organic dog food online, uh, organic dog food. Again, all these really depend on intent. And the more closely in, uh, your intent or higher the intent is towards what you offer, so if you offer uh, so if you sell dog food, organic dog food, then buy organic dog food has the best intent, the best query. Then organic dog food online, probably still want to buy it. Organic dog food can be a little broader. So um, as your intent gets a little broader, your click-through rate will go uh, get a little lower as well. So make sure you have all the high uh, intent keywords very targeted towards you, what you're offering uh, and very relevant with an ad group. Okay. Now with this relevant ad group, you're going to go ahead and write ad copy that's relevant to those keywords right so make sure the keyword is in headline so maybe buy organic dog food if it fits I'm not sure but or get buy organic dog food in the headline it catches their attention next thing you want to make sure your ad has is clarity make sure it's very clear what you offer buy dog food uh, organic dog food 100% organic dog food uh, ingredients you know uh, see our best sellers, free shipping, right? Something with some kind of, uh, so it's clear what you do, you sell dog food, uh, and then make it attractive, uh, put an offer out. Um, you might want to search for organic dog food or whatever your keyword is on Google, look at your competition, and compared to your competition, you should have a more attractive ad, something different. Now the keyword in the headline might be the same, that's kind of standard, but your offer or your line two and three, display URL should be more unique. Uh, the last thing part of that is the ad extensions that can be set up on the, on the campaign level usually, but make sure you're capitalizing those. If you have a location nearby, uh, if you have other site links, etc. So these three things. Now, uh, the keywords uh, optimized to the ad group. The ad group aggregates up to the campaign level. As you get to the campaign level, there's two factors that affect it. One is the search network. The search network is when you go on Google.com, people are searching for you, the click-through rate is going to be higher. Display network is Google showing you to, you know, as on the display network on different blogs, relevant uh, sites. So it's really casting a lot of impressions, so your click-through rate is going to be lower. So you want to focus your click-through rate is your intention to improve that. Uh, focus on the search network. It shouldn't be your only intention. That's another tutorial again. So uh, as you can optimize the, cam the keywords and the ad copy aggregating up to the campaign, then the campaigns aggregate up to the account level, uh, and that's what you're going to be optimizing. While you're optimizing this, uh, look at your average account CTR. See which campaigns fall under average, right? And then in the campaign, see which ad group has the highest number of impressions and falls under the average CTR for that campaign, and then you can optimize that. So whatever ad group has a lot of impressions has the most opportunity to improve the overall account click-through rate, right? Either you add negatives and reduce the number of impressions, or you optimize the ad copy for that ad group, and those impressions convert to more clicks, and then you get higher click-through rate for the account. So really follow uh, the 80-20 rules, see where all the impressions are, and optimize based on that. But these are the basic guidelines of how to improve your account click-through rate. Good luck.